This is amazing, but really amazing. Thank you that you joined me. You see, behind me is the environment, the AI environment of Google. It's not ChatGPT, it is Gemini. And Gemini, on its left side, you recognize the different chats we have. And in the central part, you see that I have responses. But those responses, what is amazing, it's that I asked questions about YouTube, YouTube channels, and I get here direct links. I get some names that I can click and display the video directly. This is certain things that can be done, but there are many more that can be done, and we are going to dive into this. That you are a viewer or a creator like me, this opens us a ton of possibilities. We must understand that this is brand new. It is actually in development, and what we see is just the beginning of a new era. It's Christian from Vision 6D. For me, it's always a pleasure to share some of my experiences with you. I train and I consult for companies. I have now prepared a prompt in which I ask it to use the connection it has with YouTube. In this prompt, I ask the AI to go and to look for a specific video and to summarize it and to tell me what it thinks about it. So let's launch this. So we see it went to, to look for that video. It got it and it summarized it for me. And now if I'm interested in the video, I can maybe go and look at that specific video. What is really interesting is that it summarizes videos. With that, I can decide whether I want to watch or not a certain video. Now we have the possibility to ask the AI to timestamp the video. So we'll see what happens. So with this, you have now the possibility to go directly to the moment that interests you in this video. What do you think? Is this interesting? I will now ask it to go to one of those uh, direct moments. I select that one. Have it reduced to, let's say, 35. With that, we see that uh, is really, it is really, really interesting the, the way to, to work on videos and to try to become more productive with this. This makes me think a lot. I don't know what you, you think, so please comment. Tell me about your own experiences. On my channel about project management and Microsoft Project, I have more than 400 videos. So, with the AI, something that is really interesting is that now I can ask questions concerning that channel. I can, for example, as a beginner of MS Project, ask which videos would the AI recommend me to follow in order to learn MS Project. So, this is the prompt I prepared. And let's see what the answer is. We see here a list and a first description of each of those uh, videos. And here I have the link to the first one. So this is one way to proceed. We see that it didn't bring all the links here up. This just shows that we are still in the infancy of that integration between the AI and YouTube, and that will greatly evolve in the future. The competitive analysis is something quite complex in which I want to see or to test 
how far this interaction with the YouTube extension can go. After that analysis, I will show you what you need and how to configure to be able to do the same things than what I did. Gemini is proposing me the way it can help in the competitive analysis. It can focus on the content. It can evaluate the target audience here. It can define if there are differences in the video quality, engagement metrics like, like subscribers, view, likes. It can focus on SEO. It's the search engine optimization, what makes that one video is coming out when you search something, that it's coming better out than another video. And then it can also concentrate on the channel branding and the content frequency. Gemini is asking from me some information, like here to identify three to five of my competitors' channels and to define specific areas that I would like to undertake. And for this, I have here an answer that I prepared, that is to say a prompt. Here, I have several channels that I would like to look at. And I'm asking that the competitive analysis should focus on viewers and audience engagement, as well as SEO. And then I also say that it is always interesting to have a comparison of the quality of the videos. That was fast. That was really fast. Let's look. He says, excellent. I've taken a look at your channel Vision 6D and the competitors. So what does it see? From my channel, it says the strength is nice niche expertise, strong focus on MS project with the comprehensive library of tutorial catering to different skill levels. Yes, consistent upload, regularly updated with new content. It's excellent. Multilingual content offers video in both English and French. I can add, he didn't see some in Spanish and German. Yeah, we are speaking Deutsch. Clear and concise tutorials, areas of improvement. This is interesting. Two aspects, visual appeal. While informative, some videos could benefit from more dynamic visuals and graphics to enhance engagement. Audience interaction, encouraging more comments and discussion could boost engagement and community building. This is really true. And this is up to you. Now you can comment, you can like. Let's build that community. So there are also SEO refinement. This I need to work on them. And then comes the comparative analysis. I'm not going to read all the elements here. But you see that we have all the different channels and it took the content focus, target audience, video quality, audience engagement and SEO as I requested. Here down you can see if you are interested, I could also export that comparative matrix. So let's go to the key takeaways. So for me, visual enhancements, consider incorporating more engaging visuals and animations, SEO optimization, community building. Let's come back once again on this. I will improve my interaction with you. If you have questions, do not hesitate, ask them. And any like or views is helping me and encouraging me. Diversification, yes, this is something that I intend that I intend to do. I do it mainly now in the area of AI for project management, and it suggests me to collaborate with other YouTubers. 
So I'm really open. If you are a YouTuber, contact me. Let's collaborate together. If you are a YouTube viewer, you see that you can do quite complex things between Gemini, the AI from Google, and YouTube. And the two together, and I will add as third also the search engine, is really something powerful. If you are a creator like me, then I don't have much to tell you. I think you understood where your interest is with those functions of Gemini extensions for YouTube. To be able to work in Gemini with the YouTube extension, I'm using here the at sign. When I use the at sign, it's proposing me a lot of different extensions. Here, I can simply select the YouTube one. And from then on, it knows that this specific prompt is related to something on YouTube. Some of those extensions are free, but some aren't. They are part of what is called Gemini Advanced. And for this, you will need a subscription. In the case of the YouTube one, it's one for which you need that subscription. So here I'm showing you the plan that I have. It's part of what is called Google One. It entails other things than just AI, but I've taken that plan here for about 25 euros a month. To see the extensions that we have, we can go down here into settings and into settings we have the available extensions. So we see that here we have extensions for the Google Workspace. One that is really interesting is the integration of AI into Gmail. So that one is also active, but the topic today was the one that I have here about YouTube. All those extensions, and especially the one for YouTube, I won't hide it. It was for me a wow moment. I had like an explosion in my head. So I'm eager to read your comments, to see your questions, and I'm really happy and looking forward to see you in another module. Bye-bye. Thank you.